Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Star Wars Meg, and in today's video we're going to be talking about what Darth Vader really did to the Separatist leaders on Mustafar. So recently I put a poll out asking you guys what kind of things you'd like to see on my channel. A lot of you said you wanted to see prequel material, so I will be prioritizing the prequels from now on on this channel. So in today's video we're going to be speaking about what Darth Vader did when he arrived on Mustafar. After he turned to the dark side and Darth Sidious gave him the name of Vader, he was told to go on the mission to Mustafar. On Mustafar he was to destroy the Separatist leaders for their betrayal. So when Vader arrives in the film we see that he strikes down a lot of the Nemodians. However, there is more material that can be found in Revenge of the Sith, the novelization, and also in Legends materials and the comics. So today I'm going to be combining all of those sources to give you the full overview of what Darth Vader really did to them when he arrived on the planet. When Darth Vader arrived at the control bunker on Mustafar, Newt Gunray, San Hill, and the other members of the council welcomed him. At the time, the Separatist leaders were demoralized by their recent defeats in the Outer Rim sieges, the loss of Count Dooku, General Grievous, and their sudden withdrawal from the Utapo shortly before the battle. Many of them wanted to sue for peace with the Galactic Empire, formerly the Galactic Republic. However, upon his arrival, Anakin, now Vader, immediately closed the doors of the bunker, trapping the Separatist leaders, their aides, members of the Nemodian Gunnery Battalion, and several battle droids within. Engaging in a rampant killing spree, Vader destroyed the battle droids and killed the members of the Nemodians in addition to his targets. After Vader first slaughtered Daenerya Ki, Ato, Laf, Poe Nudo and Pacel Argente, the remaining Separatists fled. Vader went after them and killed Nang Tun, Kat Min and Shu Mei. Vader then went on to kill a few others while Newt Gunray watched in horror. Ruin Harko and Watts Trembor fled in the conference room to avoid Vader, but he eventually slaughtered them both. Vader finally cornered Newt Gunray, whom he absolutely despised most of all for his attempts to kill his beloved Padme Amidala. The rage could be felt in his heart, in his blood and in his veins. Gunray pleaded for his life, but to no avail, Vader executed him brutally with two slashes across the chest and one through the gut. As he surveyed the carnage, his eyes turned red-rimmed yellow, a trait common amongst those immersed in the dark side. Unbeknownst to the Separatists, Sidious was secretly watching the carnage inflicted by his apprentice as he left his comm link on, just before the declaration of a new order. So that's basically what Vader did. It's a lot more brutal when it's really outlined in terms of the novelization and using some of the comics material as well. In the film we did actually get to see the brutality of Vader's rage when he was first on Mustafar and I do think it's really interesting to look deeper into it and to really read about all the emotions he was feeling. It was basically all about Padme and to a large extent most of Vader's rage throughout his life really lay in the fact that he hated Sidious for deceiving him. So that's it guys, that's basically the video of how Darth Vader slaughtered the Nemodian Separatists on Mustafar. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, hit like on this video if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel if you're new, and also as always please consider becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. For just $2 a month you get exclusive access to content that's not found here on YouTube, and I'm Star Wars Meg, and I wish you a great day no matter where you are in the galaxy.